Some of the other trends that we're witnessing is globalization. We have to have a very broad focus and look how this is going to affect everybody. That the state of California is going to face a $53 billion budget shortfall. Everything that gets connected to the California state budget is going to be impacted. Jeffrey, uh, kind of tell us the, your sentiments and the sentiments of the community about what transpired last week, or actually as we speak, and, and the raising of the flag that's coming up uh, Friday uh, at City Hall. There's been some controversy about, you know, if one flag goes up, how many other flags can go up? Does it make sense to have multiple flags there besides government flags? Kind of, kind of walk walk us through that, and then from there, I'm going to just go directly to Council Member Bredefeld for his reaction. Jeffrey, thank you for having me on the show. First of all, I'd like to say this is a tremendous step for our community. The LGBTQ community has not been uh, officially recognized in a way like this before. Other cities, municipalities, counties, and states throughout the nation have risen the LGBTQ pride flag. It is a symbol of hope and pride. It uh, really helps uh, empower individuals to feel better about themselves. We will see a lot of good positive impacts by this flag flying symbolically at Fresno City Hall. Fresno City Hall is the uh, seat of government for this city. We're the fifth largest city and we will be taking our place with many other cities up and down the state of California. Jeffrey, uh, so the, the question always that, that, that comes up, not always, but the question that comes up is if we you know, put the pride flag up, then should we put other flags up at City Hall as well? How, how do you respond to that? And I'm gonna to go to Gary in a couple of minutes. Well, Darius, the other flags have flown. So the Greek flag has flown, the Armenian flag has flown, and the Grizzlies flag has flown at Fresno City Hall in, in recent months. Got it, thank you. Uh, Council member Gary uh, Bredefeld, let's get uh, your feedback on this. You had, uh, we had a conversation a couple of days ago. Uh, kind of share with the audience what your sentiment is and what your thoughts are. Sure. Well, I understand why Jeffrey feels as he does, and, and I don't blame him uh, uh, at all. However, uh, for me, this is not about um, the gay pride flag. This is about setting a policy uh, which would have created not only the gay pride flag to fly, but any other flag that was sponsored by a council member, a mayor, uh, a city manager. And while some people would celebrate the gay pride flag flying, others might feel that it's uh, not something that they want to have there. Likewise, uh, other flags would then be allowed to be flown there that people would feel an objection to as well. Uh, many people feel that really the only flags that should be flying, and I feel this way, should be the United States flag, the California flag, Fresno flag, and the POW MIA flag. 